A Swedish expert has said that the U.S. blowing up Nord Stream pipelines was an economic war against its submissive allies in Europe. American investigative journalist Seymour Hersh said in a report last week on the U.S. portal Substack that the U.S. Navy was involved in the Nord Stream explosions last year. The Nord Stream pipelines, of course, were blown up by the U.S. and NATO allies, and now a U.S. economic war. Is conducted against the submissive allies in Europe. Seymour Hersh's fine analysis tells how the destruction was planned and done, but the conclusion is unsurprising. The U.S., with very important Norwegian assistance, committed the crime against a friendly allied country, Germany, and other European countries. Together with the ill-conceived, never-ending economic sanctions, the blow-up of the Nord Stream. Had already has already caused enormous accumulating harm to European citizens' economies. Oberg believes that the West's handling of Russia's military operation in Ukraine, including the Nord Stream destruction, is an example of why the present situation is extremely dangerous. We live in times fundamentally characterized by intellectual and ethical disarmament, coupled with the immense military armament. With militarism as the only one answer, militarism has become the religion that keeps the declining West together. NATO is therefore its church. That's why also the mainstream media have not given Hirsch a sensational analysis the attention it deserves. One must wonder when the Europeans will wake up and finally understand that they are no longer share interest with the U.S. On the bottom of the sea outside Bornholm, the U.S. has now destroyed and buried yet another bit of its decency and global leadership.